y'all, man. Be wild three far away. Like, comment, subscribe, share. All that good shit. Once again, it's on. <laughs> what you know about that juice? Man, that used to be my shit back in the day. Well, I see that with my oldest, my oldest sister, Hope. Let me think. I think she had the tape, and I watched it one time. I don't know if my sister remembered it. She be watching my videos. You bought me my first. You bought me my doggy style CD, and you bought me my first, my first tape. And it was a, it was an iced tea tape. But my first, my first rap song that I ever heard in life was Ghetto Boys. But back in the day, it was tape cassettes. It came. It was a white tape with black writing, and it had a. Uh, it had some dude on it that called himself a funky little nigga. And then I remember hearing Scarface afterwards. But yeah. Little, little rap listen. First first CD, Doggy Style. First tape, Ghetto Boys. So shout out, shout out Ghetto Boys. Scarface, Willie D, Bush Weekville. Shout out Snoop Dogg. Whole West Coast. Shout out The Bay. Shout out everywhere, man. East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, down south. You know I had to say it like that. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm finna hit y'all with this video, man. I'm trying to, this This is what I'm talking about. When has, you know, when has disrespect gone too far? Is it, is it even a such thing? Can disrespect go too far? And I say that because, you know, I just made the video or whatever, and I was talking about, you know, people disrespecting while well, talking about King Yellow. And just people, you know, disrespecting, you know, dead folks. And I know, I know in Chirac, and shout out to Chicago. I know, I know over that way, you know, that, you know, they do that, you know, and, you know, down this way, we don't do that too much. And this is my thing, though. You know, it just, like I said, can disrespect go too far? And what I'm saying is, like, like down here, for instance, like, folks is watching my video from anywhere else. Like, if you know a person and y'all had issues, y'all didn't got to fight them, you know, y'all y'all had problems. But y'all know each other, though. Y'all went to the same school and all this. So some people that you might know or might be cool with may be cool with him, even though you're not cool with him. You feel me? So let's say that person passes. Now, I know around here, you know, people have a problem, they'll fight it out or whatever, but people, I've known people that go to a person's funeral, you know, to a person's funeral they had a problem with or whatever. And, you know, somebody asked them about them and they'll tell them, you know, yeah, we had our issues or whatever, but, you know, I didn't wish death on them or whatever. And, you know, they're respectable. But my thing is, like, Do you consider that real or fake love? You know what I'm saying? Like, a person passes, if you didn't like him in life, do you suppose to like him in death? You get what I'm saying? Like, it might sound, okay, in Chirac, I know niggas this, I, niggas this, they, they, they ops or whatever. And I ain't gonna front, I respect it, you know, because they keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? And I say that because, you know, if a person didn't like you in life and they still don't like you in death, at least they ain't being fake about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to come to my funeral that actually don't really like me in their heart or got an issue with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go to one of my homeboy funerals and see a dude in here that I know, I know that he don't like. I know he didn't like. And, you know, he here and hugging his mom and everything and, you know, giving out his condolences, which, you know, is cool. It's a stand-up move, but, you know, if I'm looking at it from my point, this is my friend, this is my close friend, you know, we grew up together. Think of your close, think of your close friend that you grew up with from childhood, from, from, from the crib, from babies, and something happens to him. And you know for a fact that this person that showed up to this funeral didn't like him, had a problem with him, was always on some bullshit with him. You know, just always, just always with the bullshit. Every time, every time y'all came around, 
but then he showed to the funeral, like, would you be cool with it? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, would y'all, would, would you let it ride? I don't know, man. That's why I said I respect it, man, because you know you're keeping it real. I can't, I can't stunt. You keep, you keeping it real, bro. You know, it is what it is. And then, you know, like, like I said, people, are, people, are, they'll show you so much, so much hatred, so much fake love when you're alive. And then, nah, that, nah, that's, I'll take that. Let me, let me rephrase that. You have an enemy that's when you're alive and y'all just be going at it. You know, y'all go at it, y'all go at it, y'all go at it, y'all go at it. I'm talking about go at it, shoot each other, y'all go at it. You pass. And then, you know, kind of like six months before you pass, you know, y'all wasn't into it no more. Not because y'all made up. Let's just say y'all had kids and y'all just said, fuck it. All right, you pass and this probably comes to the funeral. At that man home, boy, do you probably be cool with that? I don't know. That's why I say can disrespect go too far. Now that's why I'm saying I'm not I'm not gonna go and start another at the funeral or nothing like that. I know people that have, but I'm not gonna do that. You know, it just you gotta respect the family. You know, you gotta respect the family, so you no, know, I just I want to get y'all take on that, man. You know, can can they go too far? Cause like I said, you hear folks this this dead you no know, dead folks all the time, man, all the time. You know, it, it's so much starting starting to become a trend that it people outside of Chicago start doing it, just like with drill music. People outside of Chicago start doing drill music. You know, and people not. People not finding the identity of their own. I remember when um uh, I don't even remember what the show was called, but it was a show that used to be on MTV, and they would spotlight a different rapper hood. No, 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 I take that like that. They would spotlight a different state. Like they would say, "Man, I can't remember what the show is." If anybody watching, man, y'all hit the comment, and let me know what it was. But they would down, they would they would show like every state. They would say chilling and. It wasn't chilling, I'm just saying. It would say like chilling in chilling in Houston, chilling in Atlanta, chilling in Memphis, chilling in San Francisco. You know, they they'll go to a different block of a rappers, you know, in every state. But yeah, man, everything was different though. That what I'm that what I'm saying. When I watched the show, everybody was different. Every you know, every wasn't with no state the same. And it was, man, it was tight, man. I love seeing how other folks live and what other folks do and how other folks move. But now it's like people just catch on to whatever's hot and then they just run with it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, everybody dissing, dissing dead folks now, man. So I'm just, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm asking, man. Can disrespect go too far, man? Y'all hit the comments and let your boy know, man. Be right through the hallway, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, share. All that good shit. Me, you already know what to do. I shouldn't even have to say it. I'm out.